Hello, I'm Paul Single, Managing Director at City National Rockdale, and welcome to Economic Perspectives. First off, we at City National Rockdale hope that all of you are healthy and safe during these turbulent times. And speaking of turbulent times, the economic data that's coming out is quite turbulent. More frustrating is the fact that it's coming in worse than what was anticipated. And what makes this even more powerful is the fact that this is March economic data. For most states that did have the lockdown, that only occurred in the second half of March. So we're only seeing the results of that for half the month, yet the entire month's data is quite poor. Notably, retail sales fell for the largest amount in the history of that recording. For industrial production, we're seeing the worst performance in March than we've seen since the end of World War II, when the United States closed down the war effort. But most importantly, what we're seeing is the data that's coming in regarding labor. Claims for unemployment insurance is the most important data that we have right now. And there are two factors that we would look at in this data. There's the initial claims for unemployment insurance, those that are making the claims for their first time, and also the continuing claims, the amount of people that continue to receive the benefits from the government. The initial claims for unemployment insurance just shot up. You can see in this chart here, it's a long-term view of the data that goes back from the 1960s. Here, you can see the number reached almost 7 million people claiming unemployment benefits for the first time. That's a record, but more impressively is the record is about 10 times greater than the previous record from the 1980s. That's massive. It has since fallen and that is good news, but the continuing claims number, this chart here you can see, also has shot up dramatically. And it now stands at twice the level it was during the global financial crisis and will continue to move up. The hardship as a result of this is having a severe economic impact on the entire economy. Now the data that we'll be seeing over the next month will be severe on the downside, as I mentioned. And oftentimes it's gonna be compared to times in history, like since World War II or since the Great Depression. It's important to note that the economic future is a lot different than what we had during the Great Depression. During the Great Depression, there was the downward movement in a lot of the economic data. But what made that worse is the policies that were put in place by the Federal Reserve Bank and the federal government. The Federal Reserve Bank, for example, raised interest rates to try and preserve the value of the dollar. They didn't listen to the claims that banks had regarding solvency. And as a result, there were a number of bank failures. The federal government under President Hoover raised taxes. He did not add any stimulus programs into the American public that direly needed that money. But most importantly, he started a trade war and that made global trade fall and extended the downside of the economic impact from the depression. This time it's much, much different. The playbook that the Fed is using is pretty much the same playbook that they use following the global financial crisis, in which case the Fed dropped interest rates to near zero. They did quantitative easing to push down long-term interest rates. The Fed has also added about a dozen other programs to add stimulus to the banking system, to extend credit, and to add liquidity where needed. The federal government at the same time has started a number of fiscal policies to try and add more stimulus most notably the $2.2 trillion stimulus plan that will help out in a lot of individuals in terms of unemployment benefits and enhancing those and for small businesses. All of this will have a dramatic impact on the economy as a result of the lockdown that's been put in place. As a result, this is not going to be a Great Depression, but another recession that the economy has had and hopefully a very short one. I'm Paul Single. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next month.